Hello, so this week's free sample of the, the week is one by Orchestral Tools. It's one of their Sign Factory instruments. As I said, completely free uh, subscription service, and they're really starting to build up a, a quite a few samples now. I've done a couple videos on some of these already. I know we covered uh, Dynamo when we looked at a load of different free percussion instruments, and uh, recently I talked about Helix when I was talking about um, uh, getting the most out of your MIDI. Um, but today we're going to be talking about their latest one, which is Minstrel, which is the free jazz flute. Uh, and so let's uh, just jump in. And as I said, this is free. This is what you get as soon as you uh, download it. And what we actually have is uh, several different samples. So we've got the sustains, the staccatissimos, overblown, which I I love. I haven't actually heard these ones specifically, but I love using them in pieces. Uh, rips short up, rip short down, add crescendo short. So let's have a play around, let's have a look. We also have vibrato by the looks of it, no vib and vibrato for our sustains, which is really great. Round robins are always important to look at, we only have two, but we kind of have to set our standards a bit lower because this is free. Uh, two is better than one. Uh, we have two dynamic layers, uh, loud and quiet. Of course we have our usual envelope we can mess around with. Um, but this is specifically for the longs. We'll have a look at those when we're looking at the shorts and other samples. So this is the sustains. We're going to put our uh, vibrato off for first and let's have a play around with this uh, free sample. Uh, I'm struggling to hear multiple dynamic layers, actually. I can probably hear them hitting my keyboard, so... But it's nice having the two different round robins. But I'm not hearing the multiple dynamic layers, which is annoying. But overall, that's actually... You can get some really nice legato lines out of that. Uh, let's change it to vibrato, and of course you can use a, a CC controller. And what I would always recommend doing if you're using this, go between the two. So maybe you have one note. So that's more samples there. So you probably have about four different samples, some with vibrato, some with not vibrato. So if you're creating a piece, have one note with vibrato, one note not, go between them, emphasize sections. That will create more realism. And uh, already that, that's a beautiful sample and you can do quite some nice legatos with that. Uh, let's move on. Uh, we have, yeah, actually we might. Ah, there it is. So it's actually... There is your two layers. And there's a really nice fade between the two of them. Um, at all possibilities, I always use kind of the... Uh, mod wheel instead of velocity. I actually prefer it, especially with longs, um, using this little fader, because I know it says there's only two dynamic layers, but you can really go between them really nicely. So it feels like more. And then of course we can use a uh, Beautiful, I love that. Staccatissimos, let's look, three layers and three round robins, excellent. Uh, we're not gonna need that for a little bit. Uh, let's have a listen to these. Also, I should note the mixer, we only have one mix, there's no other layers. 
um, no close or distant mic, it's just the one mic. But you can always add reverb. So let's have a tinker with these shorts. <laughs> Hmm, I might have to quickly select velocity. There we go. Definitely a nice little bit of reverb would help a lot here. Okay, I expected a bit more from those, but... There we have it. Um, you can swap between the two, of course. Uh, I would always set up an articulation set uh, if you really want to get into the nitty gritty. I've done a whole video on that as well, on how to set up articulation sets. You can see here, uh, depending what notes you press, you can see it here down on the bottom of the keyboard, these orange keys over here. You can swap between the different articulations, these key switches. Um, which is a really useful thing when you want to write a melody that includes legatos, or longs and shorts, and maybe different notes. So overblown, we only have forte with two round robins. So even just going between those two, you're getting more diversity and some different sounds. Rips short up. <laughs> they're, they're always fun to mess with um, if that's what you need within your piece it's easier than creating them with your shorts I don't tend to use those little bits although crescendo short so there is my sample of the week minstrel the free jazz flute by orchestral tools uh, beautiful sample it's free download it mess around with it uh, just add that to your collection we all like a free sample if you want a free flute there you have it and i will see you in the next video